A few downpours may be possible as a result of the remnants of a tropical storm barrel. It's now down to a post tropical cyclone. Either way, look for some heavy rainfall with this. That system, though, looks to stay just to our southeast and so not likely to see heavy to flooding rain, but it's not that far away. A few showers and downpours tonight and tomorrow is about all we'll get out of the remnants of barrel. You can see this is a, still a pretty sprawling weather system stretching from southern Missouri clear to Michigan and beyond, with even still some severe weather being produced in Indiana to Kentucky. Some flash flooding ongoing south of Chicago, where they saw torrential downpours earlier this afternoon. Uh, now, locally, we're going to see the heavier bands of rain stay just off to our southeast. As you can see, a little of that heavy rainfall may sneak into southern DeKalb County from time to time early this evening. But for the most part, uh, the bulk of our area is going to avoid all of those heavier showers from barrel. The air is super humid, though, uh, as a result of that tropical system bringing in some tropical moisture. So you can see what an example of this outside of Monroe. There are going to be these tropical-like downpours that pop up from time to time. Exactly track radar looking pretty clean right now, but at about two o'clock this afternoon, there was a pretty stationary shower over western Rockford that re resulted in possibly a couple inches of rain. So there may be these very narrow areas that see some tropical downpours over the next couple hours. Future track though doesn't have too many of those popping up. You can see that by the time we get to about six o'clock, any little blips of rain disappear as the heavier showers from barrels stay are just off to our southeast, but the closer we get to seven and eight o'clock, the more some of those rain shower bands start to creep in. Uh, the bulk of the rain, though, holds off until later tonight, as you can see, and not looking too heavy as we approach midnight. We'll continue to have then these on and off showers and even a quick downpours through the night as barrel sweeps through the region. So on occasion, we may get a quick downpour, which uh, may wake you up later tonight. 66 for the low under a mostly cloudy sky. Then as we get into tomorrow, barrel exits. Same with the rain chances over the course of the morning. Afternoon to evening, though, spotty showers and thunderstorms pop up again. So be ready for more hit or miss rainfall all the way across the state line as we go throughout tomorrow afternoon and evening. Temperature wise, though, just like today, low 80s under a mostly cloudy sky that starts to change later this week. We do have a chance for more isolated storms Thursday evening. Temperature staying in the low 80s. After that, though, we're pushing into the 90s. We'll get there by the time we get to Sunday. That's after one more chance for rain on Saturday. By the way, Sunday may feel like 100 with the high humidity. So get ready to pace yourself for a couple days of that high heat working in. And your most accurate 10 day forecast after a hot Monday we may cool off from there. In fact, by next Thursday, a 70 degree day may be in that long range forecast.